regarding the issue of the five kids who died in Soweto, allegedly after eating snacks from Spaza shops, which the Department of Health investigated and found out that what killed those children was not really the snacks. There was more, and whatever killed them is a chemical called organophosphate. Today I have a clip, a video of the father of one of the children who died, explaining what happened that day. And many people don't know, the kids who died were friends, were a group of kids they used to play together. And many people also don't know, these kids, uh, they, there has been an incident of kids dying the same month and the same date, October, during the same date last year. But watch this so you can understand something. The chemical compounds that were found, that will be tested now and also then verified and matched against those uh, in information that is found from the uh, post-mortem and the bodies of the children that fell ill but also those had passed on. We've been speaking with the families. Yesterday we met with Joseph who lost his daughter Monica, uh, six years old, from uh, the specific foodborne illness outbreak and I want to bring them into the conversation. Uh, thank you so much Joseph once again. Thank we you, spoke yesterday and one of your concerns was that there was not information that was coming uh, from any of the authorities on what was happening or what could be the cause. We're now hearing that there could be a link just to the cause, not yet to the people that uh, you know could be responsible what what are you feeling and, and what, what's going through your mind as you hear this information that is coming through ma'am uh, first of all uh, like I said we are waiting for the full report from the South African police as they promised that they will come back to us and as much as uh, the news are speculating around we did hear some saying, but at the moment um, we don't know yet because, uh, you know, uh, people can say a lot of things. But on, 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 on contrary, what we are, I will be happy if they can find uh, the perpetrator or whoever is behind the, the killing of these young uh, children. Because to be honest with you, uh, we we also don't know what happened, and you know the, the, the whole thing here is killing us inside eh, all the families. Uh, I think we are maybe not coping well because now uh, what happened to the children, and now I will be happy if they can apprehend whoever whoever is responsible for for the killing of my daughter because now she was so precious to me and. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine living now without her because she was like my, you know, my handbag. Wherever I go, I used to go with her. Whatever I do, you know, all, everywhere, you know, even at school, you know, you know. Now I was attached to my daughter, and now the very same to the other children because I knew them about my daughter because they were playing together. And all of them, they were like, you know, my, my, my children, because that is the reason why if I don't see them within the next 80, 40 minutes, mm. I was bit getting worried, you know. But on that fatal day, I don't know what happened. I was busy doing the laundering and I, I, I think I lost touch or, mm. or I, you know, I, I keep on, you know, I, 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 I'm blaming myself, but I, I've neglected checking on them. Maybe I could have find them, found them earlier, or I don't know. But at the moment, I don't know what happened, and um, I will be happy, ma'am, if uh, the, the government can do much and 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 um, to prevent the, uh, this in future uh, the, the, to save the people's life. You know, mm -hmm. some s s such things like this. You know, it's devastating because it started last year, mm -hmm. uh, and when 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 uh, you know when something is not closer to you. You, when the people telling you, you can feel the pain, but it, it's not like when something happened mm -hmm. to you, you're feeling more than, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what amazing me was, um, the, the, the whole thing, it happened during the very same month, uh, almost the same days. Now, it also, it, it has crossed my mind that 
There must be someone behind it. You watched, right? And I'm sure watching you can feel the pain of the father. I, for one, I can feel the pain of this man. Of course, it's the man of the house, Ubaba. He won't cry in front of the TV because men don't cry. But I can feel that inside he is crying. And the tone of the voice, how he's speaking, you can tell this man is broken because he lost a daughter. And not just a daughter. According to him, those other children, they were friends of his daughter. So the, he was also treating them like his own children. So he lost a group of children. I can feel the pain. The story is being complicated. The more you dive deeper into it and try to understand it. Because I also, to be honest, I also didn't know the dates were similar. The date of the passing of the children this year and the children who died last year. The dates were similar. I knew the children who died last year in Naledi, they died in October. But I didn't know the dates were similar. They died, they died during the same date. So this is, is, is becoming like what's really going on. Why October and during those dates? And are these foods from foreigners only produced during October and during those dates only to kill these kids only in October and during those dates? Why were kids not dying July, June, May? Why are kids not dying December, November? Why October? Is it really these foreigners or there's an other agenda behind all of this? Then you get to a point whereby you really want to dive deep to the rabbit hole as a journalist, as, a, as someone who likes to ask so many questions, but you don't know where to start because the Department of Public Safety, they're saying, yeah, was on Ghana, and they're going to try to inspect these spaza shops, whether locally or South African, and the ones who are not complying, they're going to close them down. That one is a given. Any spaza shops not complying must be closed down. Not because of kids dying, because they are breaking the law. It's a given. The Department of Health saying they've investigated the autopsy of the kids, the postmortem of the kids, all the, the, the symptoms of causes of death. They, they took the blood samples, they took everything from the bodies of the children. And they took the snacks, everything I'm a keke, from the foreigners. And there's no link between what killed those children and these things that are allegedly what the kids ate. And being ignorant to want to dive deep to the rabbit hole, we would be allowing the real killer to get away with the murder. While least we sit down blaming people who don't even know anything. I'm not saying foreigners are saints. I'm saying with all the investigations done, it seems like foreigners and the food, the snacks are not what killed those children. Then who killed those children? What killed those children? Why every October? Why similar dates? What's so important with the date? What's so important with October and children dying in Naledi? What happened? Can we link to recall the CIA, the FBI's? Or should we just say, ah, it's foreigners, throws down these puzzles, and it's done, the case closed. But it is what it is. Thank you very much.